Lately I've been thinking a lot about what this channel is about. I know that I'm passionate about being creative, travel and adventure and helping others with theirs and that is what this channel is about. Welcome to my channel, my name is Stephen and if you enjoy going on adventures to explore new landscapes with creativity in mind then this is the channel for you. Today's adventure we travel to Terrawera Falls in the North Island of New Zealand. In my opinion, Terrawera Falls is one of the most beautiful waterfalls in New Zealand. Not only is this waterfall beautiful, but so is the walk through its native forest, along a stream, and through a volcanic landscape to get to it. This short intro tries to capture my journey to Terrawera Falls through this beautiful landscape, and very soon we will be photographing the falls with Mamma Mia 6 and some Fuji Pro V100F. I hope you enjoyed this intro and a special thank you goes out to my friend Cameron for providing me with some of his drone footage. I've been shooting with the Mia 6 for a few months now. For those of you who don't know this camera, it's a medium format 6x6 film camera with a collapsible lens mount and this makes it a very compact system that is great for film photographers who like to backpack and travel lightweight. I would like to end up this video for a second to say I hope you're having a great week and I hope you're doing great. I really hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please consider giving it a thumbs up. For 2021, I've set myself a goal of reaching 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you would like to help me achieve that goal, please consider subscribing to my channel by pressing the red button down below. Thank you very much and I really hope you enjoy the rest of this video.
So we've got a waterfall shot here that I've just framed up and I've got my Mamiya 6 set up here and we have Fuji Provia 100F and I've got to say the scene here is looking pretty special. So I've got my iPhone set up on my camera here with the viewfinder app so I can talk you through my composition. So let's see what we've got. So this is the viewfinder app and as you can see this is my scene and I've got my 50mm lens set up on my Mamiya 6 which is 28mm equivalent for f11 and I've been exposure bracketing and the shots have been anything from 15th of a second up to 30th of a second and then I was putting a polarizer on and it was down to like 8 and 4 8th and 4th of a second so this is the composition it's quite a simple one and this composition is just about framing the waterfall with the elements of the landscape around it so as you can see here we've got these trees here and these rocks and then the waterfall is just here and there's a cliff face just behind there and I've just framed it up in a way where everything frames the waterfall so the waterfall is surrounded by other elements of the landscape and there's a bit of a path that leads up through the bottom here it kind of leads you right in and you go through the rock and then onto that beautiful waterfall in the distance So I've just changed position here now and I've moved down closer towards the waterfall where there's this river you can see behind me here you've got the waterfall behind us there and uh, I just like the way the river swings in from the bottom left and moves up and leads your eye up to the waterfall so I've set it up with my 50mm lens and we're at f8 and we have a circular polarizer on there and an ND filter which is a 6 stop ND filter so I'm just waiting for the sun to disappear as you can see behind me here the sun's up there the sun's just up there and it's shining quite a lot of light on that waterfall and because I'm shooting Provia Provia doesn't handle high dynamic range scenes that well so there's a bit of cloud around so once the sun moves over the cloud I'm going to meter the scene and then take the shot but from looking through the viewfinder it looks like it's going to be a great image So the sun went behind the cloud and I'm meeting my scene and it was a five, five second exposure with the filters I had on. And I've got to say I'm liking the way the image looks on you know, through the viewfinder. Yeah, what a beautiful place. So I really hope you enjoyed watching that video because I really enjoyed making that one. It was a lot of fun. So I thought we'd just catch up towards the end just to go over some of the images. And I thought it'd be quite good just to jump into my iPad here and we can go into Lightroom Mobile and I can talk you through some of the images. I can show you the before and after the edit and just give you some thoughts on the images and personal opinions. So let's jump in there and have a look. So these are the four images that I showed you in the video. And if we just jump into the first one here and um, so yeah, this was a 50 millimeter shot. This was, so I did some exposure bracketing and I actually went with the, the middle one because that gave me the best exposure time. It didn't blow out the highlights or the brightest areas in, in the waterfall area here, just, just here. So you can see there's a reasonable amount of detail in there. And, and you can see in the shadows here, there is, there is some, you know, quite dark shadow areas, but there's enough there's enough detail there for you to know what it is that you're looking at and if I just put my finger on the screen so that was the before this is the this is the before this is the scan straight out of um, the Epson V800 with Silverfast and this is the edit I really like this image just you know for the reasons that I spoke about in the video 
it just, you know, the elements of the landscape just surround and frame the waterfall quite nicely. And I'm really pleased with the final result. Um, I think Provi did a good job of handling the exposure in this example. So yeah, really, really nice image. So this is the same composition, but with the polarizer on. And as you can see, um, it's got a slightly different tinge to it. And it actually, when I scanned it, if I just put it down here, you can see it's got like a bit of a purple, purple magenta hue to it. So I had to remove that. And I'm, I don't particularly like that magenta look for this particular image. Um, I think I prefer, you know, this image without, without the polarizer. But again, it was, it was quite good just to test out the polarizer with the Provia because it is a new polarizer. Um, I recently changed my filter system to a Nissi 75 millimeter system and I wanted to test out the polarizer on this, on this scene. So here's the same composition again, but this time we've moved to my 75 millimeter lens. And I actually really like this image because it just compresses the scene a lot more. You know, if we compare to the other ones, there's a lot more clutter, you know, around these edges that, you know, arguably doesn't really add that much value to the image. And this image with a 75 millimeter lens just makes it really more concise um, and really, you know, makes the important parts of the images stand out, which are the rocks in the foreground, those, you know, big granite rocks and these nice um, trees, native bush trees, native to New Zealand that is. And there's plenty of detail in the waterfall there. Um, a little bit of clipping, but hey, it's Provia. You can, you know, with slide film, you're limited a little bit, um, but I'm still really happy with the results. So this is the edit and here is the before. You can see it was slightly dark. So on this image, I did make sure that I exposed correctly um, for the for the waterfall and that gave me a darker image but again scanned in Silverfast using the Epson V800 and I can do a HDR scan so it basically does the first scan and then it does a second scan at a you know a higher exposure value so it really draws out as much detail as it can in the shadow areas and I think it works well in this situation and this is the final image that we looked at um, this is the 50 millimeter lens, a different composition. Um, I had the polarizer on here, so you can see there is quite a, a pinky hue tinge. So this is the before, and this is the afterward. So I did remove some of that tinge, as you can see, and I um, lowered, the, lowered the highlights down in the waterfall, added a bit of texture, just changed the, um, the hue of the water a little bit so it was more whiter. And yeah, I really, I really like this image. Um, it's just got a bit more to it than the other images. I really like all the, you know, the soft, the soft water. And I like, I talked about in, in the video, you know, your, your eye get, kind of gets drawn in here and it leads up towards the waterfall. And then you just end up looking around at all the other elements of landscape, like the granite face here and um, all these nice trees. So yeah, really beautiful waterfall, you know, it, as you saw in the video, I don't know if you picked up on, on it in the, in the video, but you know, it starts, this, 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 this water starts from Lake Tarawera, which is right next to Mount Tarawera, which is a volcano, which is another video that I've created in the past where we photographed Mount Tarawera. And I'll leave a link in the description for that if you want to check that out. And basically the, the water comes out of that lake, it goes down the river, pretty much, you know, where we walked along the river. And then um, about an hour away from and reaching this waterfall, it goes underground. Um, and, you, and in certain areas on the walk, you can actually hear the water rumbling underground. So that's quite cool. And then, yeah, you kind of reach this valley and you walk down to the bottom of the valley and then just, this waterfall just pierces out the edge. Um, there mustn't have been as much rain recently when I, when I went and visited this location because normally there's another waterfall that comes down in this area here. Um, a bit further up so there's kind of like two waterfalls and that's even more beautiful um, but still I'm really happy with it. That's it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed it look out for my future video coming out where I did a walk up to um, Tongariro in the snow and we did some um, sunrise photography over Tongariro with the moon it was a really awesome walk I'm really looking forward to putting that video together and showing you some of the images 
Um, so yeah, stick around. Thanks for watching. See you next time.